Mr. Nadwar Singh, if I can start with you, he was your colleague as well. You've heard these, this revelation that he's made about what happened and his interaction with Rajiv Gandhi soon after that incident. What's unclear though is that is he giving Rajiv Gandhi a clear, clean chit like he did in parliament before or is he also implicating him in some way by suggesting that he kept quiet when he told him about the arrest? First of all, you know, if I may say so, your program is premature. I mean, unless you read the book, these excerpts then don't take us very, very far. Okay. But on this uh, Bhopal tragedy, I remember it was on the 4th of December 1984. And I was like Adjusaji in the middle of the uh, looks of elections. And now it is more than 25 years that uh, those people in the Union Carmite and nobody has been res responsible. And only the other day they were all given a clean shirt. Shit. I think it's absolutely scandalous. Yes. 5,000 people died. So, which makes it especially important what he says about it as a chief minister at that time. Well, he himself, you know, was a very discreet person. And he said there are some, some parts of his conversation with uh, Rajiv Gandhi that will go with him to his death. Yes. Yes. Do you think that he should have perhaps gone ahead and revealed that Prem Shankar Jha? Why has he kept the secret still there about this? I, I'm, I'm a little uh, surprised and I'm wondering if there was an additional element to what I know on good authority, mm -hmm. which very briefly I will tell you. See, the main pro thing is do, Warren Anderson was not a fool. He was, you know, he knew that in a circ any circumstances like this, anywhere in the world, with such a huge tragedy, if he simply arrives, he's as, as the head of the company, he's almost certain to be arrested. He was given a very clear understanding that the, what is called the corporate shield yes. would protect him, that he would not be arrested as an individual responsible for what is a, a What's terrible What's clear though from the book is tragedy. that he also this had a government not, uh, shield. May, may I say one thing? Sure. I also was told that yes, by some oversight, and often there are seldom controversy, uh, conspiracies, but there's frequent oversights. Uh, that this information was not conveyed to Mr. Arjun Singh in Bhopal. This is correct. Okay. Veena Singh, as his daughter and somebody who perhaps read the first draft of it, why did he need to feel that he had to uh, put the record straight about these things? For instance, also about his disappearance soon after the tragedy. He says that he went to his school and uh, prayed over there at the chapel when people accused him of actually going away. But he went to Allahabad to his school and the chapel and he prayed, which some might think is a strange thing for the chief minister at that time to do. See, as a daughter and as a human being, I can think both things. My perception of my father in immense tragic situations or whenever the stress was so high, he always had an anchor in the Almighty. And I have been to the same school that he studied in St. Mary's. And in Allahabad. In Allahabad. Okay. I'm a student of the same school. It is three generations in the same school. So okay. he went to that chapel because he had a very deep bonding in the faith of that church. And the nuns who had looked after him as a child, one of them still existed there. That was Sister Barbara. And he actually used to go back to her even when I was in school. And somewhere I feel he found solace and courage and some things within him which made him feel much more uh, comfortable coming back to Bhopal after praying to the Almighty. Because as you know, he was would a he second... Do that? Would he do that in other moments of crisis as well? For instance, yes, which we other had, can you tell us? we had a cross in our house which we had received from the Pope in the Vatican. Okay. We had... He was a totally secular man. So he went to the church, he went to the temple, and in his entire life that I see it as a daughter, he had immense faith and he was a very God-loving person. I would not say God-fearing, but God-loving. Okay, so Mr. Nafar Singh, would you admit then that the Congress still has a lot to answer for about what actually took place, those events after the Bhopal gas tragedy? Mr. Nafar Singh? You are asking me? Yes, sir. No, I, I really don't know any of the details. As I told you, we were in the middle of the election, but the, the tragedy was so huge uh, that, you know, that Mr. Anderson was allowed to go away and then he came here again a few years ago and went away 
Uh, I think it's extraordinary. And I don't think Arjun Singh Ji is anywhere, anywhere responsible for this. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.